All right, guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of Kaelin ADC once again. And this is going to be a continuation of my ADC 2 Diamond Journey, where I'm kind of relearning ADC um, to some degree. And also, in some aspects, also kind of smurfing in these games. It's going to, you know, depend a little bit. But I'm definitely not as good at ADC as I used to be, so I need to put some practice back into it. Playing Caitlyn and Mumu versus Edril and Zara. Zara is a pretty annoying champion. I want to get level 2 prior here though, and hopefully my Mumu will hit that. This guy just forced out of lane or what? Oh my goodness, that's fucked. I love Zara. I love dodging things and still losing off my health bar. <laughs> uh, such an annoying champion to us. Anyway, I think that, um, I think what I needed to do there was like control my apes a little bit better and get that Amumu to look for that engage a little bit sooner. And we could have got level 2 a little bit sooner, which would have made that more successful. Because enemy team kind of hand shook the level 2 prior, and Amumu, Caitlyn can definitely do a lot level 2. The uh, Q trap combo. Okay, what's the play here, brother? Why? I know he's not going to be there, I can see our jungler's taking his red. Uh, anyway, that's fine. I didn't get bullied in lane too much, they didn't freeze or do anything, you know, super good. Ouch. That's bad though. My god, they're bullying the shit out of us here. I feel like I lost all my priority in the lane. There's an issue there. This is pretty good. They're pushing it into us here. I think that's okay. Crash too, which is really nice. I'd like to see if I could hit that uh, creep in the back line. Possible. The Zara is standing on the wave very aggressively. We missed got the cannon. I'm trying to thin the wave here a little bit with my Q. Ah. Uh, it's going to be hard to see us. This guy's getting primed for the Zyra kill. Zyra no taunt either. Excellent, got a little auto attack weave there on the other drill. That does not work. Sure, I missed that creep, but the uh, theory there was correct. It's scared of the uh, tribush gank. Just kill that. No, they don't kill. Well, that really sucks. Uh, that's where he gets another kill. <coughs> suboptimal, suboptimal. Okay. Uh, I don't think the flash is the player. Fuck, Ezreal comes back so huge off this. Bit of an issue. 
All right, well, when Amumu gets back, hopefully we might be able to kill the Zyra. Not unless he, like, I don't know. That's a good hook through all these creeps or something. I think he should have just flanked. Don't really want to push the wave here, but... If I'm not mistaken, he just killed the creep on, like, a huge amount of health. Excellent. Isolated Q there on the Zara though, that's really helpful. Pretty nice. Three auto attack trade on Israel. Always want to look for those plays, guys, especially when you're playing long range champion like Caitlyn. Oh. I don't know why. I ranged to punish that at all. Put the Viego on drag here, so I'm happy to... Oh, okay, nice. I thought I was going to miss that creep, potentially. Yes, yeah, so I'm happy to just push out the wave, as I was about to say. Get that uh, lane dominance once again. And give Viego the priority. Now they see a Mumu, Vex might actually be able to get this play. sure what Mark would have done there. I'm trying to think about the play a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that I did what I could do. I wonder if my teammates were on a ward. Kind of seemed like that might have been the case, to be honest. This Zara did ult though, which is kind of pretty big for this next skirmish. I think me and Amumu should like 100% try and force a skirmish on Ezreal. Or even on the Ari that's recalling. Okay, I'm happy to take that trade. on the Amumu here. See that Zyra is super, super scared right now. Whilst I took a bunch of health damage, I'm not nearly as uh, worried about the trade as she is. This guy is forward, he should just die. I mean, even now he should just probably die. Ganked again. Here comes the four man. Ah, I should have uh, instantly looked for that. That's fine though. Yeah, 
Okay, so what I should have done there is instantly look for the stun on Ezreal, because the Zara is just dead anyway. No Maokai here, so I'm pretty chilling. Ah. Uh. Can't help, unfortunately. Alrighty. It's like as good as can be done. I think I maybe should have gone and walked over there and pushed that, but my theory was I wouldn't get there in time, so it was not worthwhile doing. I think in hindsight it looks like it was fine, actually. Nice. Good play for us there. Managed to live. that my Amumu should not go too far away here. This Zara should just die. What the hell is that, man? To me, that seems completely illegal. Get the Ari moving down now, though, so it's going to be a bit of an issue. Good to clear this deep vision. Helps uh, just create doubt about what might be happening. Okay. Ouch. What do you have? Okay. Makes sense. Ah, fuck you, man. What is that? Just. All this for a cloud drag. Enemy kill. I don't know. I hate. I need to be controlling my apes better. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievably bad. Just can't have that happen. I mean, it all just starts with me getting slowed by that sh stupid sapling that Mumu pulled out of the bush. And then, like, minion blocked me in, dude. Okay. Well, we don't let our recall here, right? She was able to recall. He is looking for the off flash play there. But I think it actually works there versus Ezreal. It's just running away. Guess I can play that better, not get hit by the Malkai ult.
Damn, it's a fucking joke, though. Your team has destroyed a turret. Actually, my player just can murder him. If I'm not mistaken. I'll sweep here as I push out the wave, just in case there's any residual um, wards from them that Zara left in the lane before she recalled. So supposedly, I guess they want me to go mid. I don't know. X is pushing the wave though, so it's kind of yeah, pretty sucky for me. Very sucky for me. Black Cleaver. I like that. Give me a drag here off the back of that. Pretty happy with that set of plays, in all honesty. Gotta be careful with the Ezreal coming through. Don't want to get clapped by that. Oh. Mimikus? I don't know. Maybe I should look for a trap there, to be honest. I probably could have got a trap off. Oh, shit. Man, did a pretty good job of that. In all reality, you cancel one order though at the end. Oh, uh, do I need here? I need Bloodthirster, to be honest, guys. Did you get her? Ooh, nice. Uh, I think he wins this, to be honest. All right? See, I don't know why he doesn't go in, like, and just walk at him more, because he has the uh, Banshee's Veil from Ari. So I can't... Maybe he still can get knocked up if he is through the Banshee's Veil, I guess. Excellent. Nothing to sweep in there by the looks of it. I'm glad that I didn't stop to ult. So part of the reason there, guys, I didn't like look for a long range ult because I wanted to make sure that I was in range of the actual fight. Damn, those Thorn Splitters are going hard in the ulti. 
There's the Ezreal ult. I was about to say that I need to be careful of that. Make sure I get to leave and go back for this. Very close to my item now. I'm gonna get mid in time. Super close to my- I think I actually just go bot here. Yeah, this is pretty greedy, but what my theory is is that I go bot and collect this wave, and I push out the next wave, right? Then after that, I reset and we go towards Baron. Like, I shouldn't be able to die here because I have enough health from the red buff and my also bloodline. So I'm thinking this is okay. I want to get base as quickly as possible and then signal that I want to go to Baron. I think my teammates are all going to die there first. I don't really think that we should be dying here. I don't particularly think there's anything to die for. Um, yeah. I guess now we have to defend the Baron. I want to make sure that I have my Bloodthirster stacked though before I go to this fight. What? Ah, it's unreal. You're not coming in, brother. What the fucking bush? How do you heal there for the move speed? Didn't want to flash. I don't know why the fuck Mumu didn't ward the bush for plenty of so long. So, one little tip for you support players, always want to be warding those bushes whenever you're fighting in a bush. And honestly, I don't know why you can just go in. To me, that whole play sequence is pretty crazy. Do have the Ari alive now. She's probably only for a play on me. I can't hit it anymore, but I don't really want her to have to use a spell for it either because it takes away her um, abilities. I mean, my jungler should have that drag for free. I need to kill that uh, blue warp when I walk back. Damn. Ooh. No shit. That trap came in handy. Getting slowed by its own spit on the left. Ah, uh, what?
All right, we take the base. These ones are definitely going to be useful. And then honestly, I think I actually just sit on a stopwatch here. Even though I don't particularly want GA, I just want the stopwatch. And then probably after I use stopwatch, if I don't have to use it, then I'll sell it. And in this game, I kind of like rapid fire cannon. Also, though, I do think there's like slight arguments to be made for wit's end. And like, especially if you're on a different champion than Caitlyn too, the one that doesn't value our crit or AD so much. Yeah, so I could go like PD or rapid fire cannon. Rapid fire cannon if I feel like I can't get in range. TD if I feel like I can get in range easy enough. Um, and then wit's end is like potential. I don't know. I need to test that, I guess. But logically, it makes sense with the uh, 3 AP, 4 AP threats. I feel like we could have got that, right? Guys, did you all play? I'll show you guys the uh, rune damage and things like that in a second. Also, the damage shots. As always, guys, if you like the content, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to improve your own gameplay in the jungle, ADC, or any other role, feel free to check out my site, coachmarket.com. I offer one on one coaching over there and also the ability to join my members area where you have access to me to get like your clips and some of your VODs reviewed um, on a monthly basis. I would highly recommend that to a lot of players, especially people who. Um, you know, maybe our lower ranks. I think the members area will have a lot more coaching availability, uh, a lot more dense information for people to use to succeed. Anyway, guys, we can show you the runes. Damage numbers looking quite nice, in my opinion. Advanced details and the runes. Yeah, this is also looking quite nice. Although this, this seems super late. Um, I do a little bit more testing on it, but yeah. Not a fan of, of getting that at 18 minutes. I feel like that's way too late into the game. So we'll see what the goes with that. Anyway, guys, until next time, take care.